Okay, we're gonna climb up this roof. The customer has explained that the raccoon is getting in through this plumbing mat. So, it looks fairly normal, but it's buckled a little bit here. So we just lift it up, oh, and there we go. And that is very common. When they put this pipe in place, they cut a much larger hole than they need to for the pipe because they might need some final positioning of it. And all the raccoon had to do was pull it up past these nails or pull the nails through and in he went. The upside of this is there's no damage. So uh, we can put it back down, screen it once everything is out and we'll want to protect everything else on the roof. So there's the mother raccoon in the middle of the video right here. They're down a sloped ceiling and I can hear the babies crying right now. She's just moving along the bottom. There she is. So she's at the bottom. Her babies are on the far right. She's just on the move. There she is. Hey, mama. She's probably just trying to hide from us right now. She's making it easy for us to go grab the babies. Like you just saw, the mother moved across and she went up into the soffit, so she's out of our way. And the babies are in that far right corner, so we just have to crawl down this slope ceiling and they should be in that far right corner. I can hear them right now. So we'll get them. Sometimes we need to get in some pretty tight spaces. Yep, and they're right in this corner. So we have a litter of baby raccoons here. They're really young. The six of them, I think. And they're just all cuddled here. The mother was just here lying on them and now that she's moved, that's why they're making some noise. So we're gonna go in and grab all the babies now. Grab one of the little guys. They're really tiny. That's one. There's plates them in our bag right now. Number two. Okay. Number three and four. six. Six babies in total. Their eyes, ears still closed. They're about a week old. Very tiny. She had a perfect little nest there for them to lie in. So now we're going to bring them outside and put them on the roof and get them to cry. And the mother hopefully comes out and takes one of them. That just makes everything easier and we know that the mother's going to start the relocation process while we're here. So let's go on outside. Six babies. Yeah. Two. Yeah, I do. Oh, they're so small. They're acting like little rats. Yeah, they're really tiny. Unfortunately, yeah. oh. you can't. I know, they're dirty. <laughs> we don't even touch them without gloves. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> I know, they're so cute. Everybody's in the office been following the story. <laughs> The dog is one to approach you. How many girls and how many boys? Oh, I haven't looked. I just know there's six. <laughs> I just picked them up and put them in the bag. And and the mother did not. Uh, well, no, as soon as aggressive. as soon as we got up, she just walked away from the babies oh, and went up into the sausages.
It's the next day and we're back to check up on the babies. Let's go have a look. We're just coming to check on the babies and it looks like the door is slightly open. The customer saw the mother taking one of her babies, but it looks like there's still some in here. Yeah, so there's still some babies. So she took one of them, which is good. She started the relocation process, but we are going to have to leave this for another night. Sometimes it does take them more than one night relocate them all, especially shouldn't have a den site close. And they're all still, there's five of them still in here and they're worth six. Okay, so this is the third day back now. And unfortunately, it looks like the mother hasn't been back. I can tell because the door isn't open. But it is okay because yeah, the babies are still in here. So it's okay because we do have a raccoon job within the one kilometer later today. So we will take these babies and we'll sorgit them to the mother on our next job. And I'll add that to the end of this video so you can see them being added to another family. Unfortunately, just sometimes mothers do this. They'll just take one or a few babies and leave some. We don't know why it happens, but very low percent of time it happens but at least we have a place to bring them when we take them from here. Okay, so I don't know if you can hear, but we have two sets of baby crying babies right now. One, this one, there's four babies in there. We just pulled them out of an attic and these are our babies that didn't get taken by their mother. So we are going to try to surrogate them. We're gonna take these little guys. This is the ones we've had them on heat all day. And we're gonna place them with the other babies. And hopefully the mother just takes them as her own. And we'll be back to find out.